everybody, Colnar here. Welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2004. In the last episode, we went to Talladega at night, and we won. How did I win? Uh, I basically just turned Bill Elliott around and I won under caution, so yeah. And besides, I had to draft with a lot of cars in order to win that one, which was crazy. But anyways, in this episode, we're headed back to Watkins Glen International for Thunder Road 220. The Thunder Road 220. A nighttime version of Watkins Glen. And oh boy, is it gonna be fun. Because I am certainly... I'm certainly sure this is gonna be a very short video. Because I'm about to be crashing into everybody. Alright, let's go racing at Watkins Glen at night. MRN presents live NASCAR Winston Cup racing at Watkins Glen International. Brought to you by EA Sports. There aren't many road courses on the NASCAR Winston Cup schedule. What will the drivers have to deal with in this one, Barney? Well, the Glen is quite fast for a road course. The problem is getting these big, heavy cars to handle well through the tight turns. A missed braking point can spell disaster for these drivers if they shoot through a corner too fast. Ken Schrader won Rookie of the Year honors in 1985. You know, it seems like Schrader's been competing in Winston Cup for so long that it's hard to believe he was ever a rookie. He's a class act, and it shows on the racetrack and in the garage area. Jeremy Mayfield experienced an up-and-down year in 2000. He had 12 top 10s and four poles, but also had 11 DNFs. He was either running up front with the leaders or taking an early exit. Those wins are great, but each DNF is exactly the opposite and can take a driver out of a points race real quick. are fired and we're ready to go racing. And there we go. We are off at Watkins Glen. And someone's engine is about to get totally destroyed come up on this first turn. And look who I ran into, Bill Elliott. And he's mad, of course. I ran into him and all of a sudden boom. He probably remembers me from, Number two is still there. you know, Talladega, but probably not. Who knows? Alright, we're in 8th place. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I hit that thing. Ow. Oh, I almost spun myself out. I'm in the grass again. And look at Christian well, Fedipaldi. He's in seventh right now. No, wait, sixth. He's in sixth right now. That's crazy. But don't worry, he's about to get past, and uh, I'm about to come up here. And yeah, just get him, get him, and get him out of the way. And there goes Christian Fedipaldi. Just turned him around. Like how I'm probably gonna turn around the other drivers, and I just wrecked myself. Whoa, Christian Filippaldi. He, he, um... He's back with me. Oh, wow. Ooh, ouch. I was shocked Christian Filippaldi freaking... Like, um... I turned him... I turned him around. The grass should have slowed him down, but I guess it didn't. Oh, contact with Rusty Walls again. Oh, I'm trying to take better care of my car, but my car is like, bro. Watch it. 
And there goes Matt Kenzo. We technically didn't go anywhere that time. So let's see, how did he... Wow, he avoided all of that. He... Wow, Christian Fittipaldi, he maintained control of his car very well. Usually, like, drivers aren't able to control their car that well. But Christian Fittipaldi did. Right now I'm in 10th. And the green flag is out. We're back racing. And here's the thing. Someone wrecks on this lap. And the caution comes out. Basically, whoever makes it back to the start finish line wins the race. Under caution. Jimmy Johnson's in first. And I can't turn my car. I can't turn my car at all. Wow. Man, I am... I cannot control my car at all. I hit Christian Fittipaldi again. Took a detour through the grass. And, well... Well, we know what happened there. And JB Johnson's gonna win the race. Say, I told you guys it'd be a short race. Not too bad. And I finished in 14th. Wow! Um, yeah, that sucked. That sucked big time. Oh, man. I just knew that freaking turn would just screw everything up. And look at that. Matt Kenseth and Christian Fedipaldi 100% rage against me. Yep. That sucks. So Jimmy Johnson wins the race. Kurt Busch finishes second. Robbie Gordon third. Ricky Rudd fourth. Ryan Newman fifth. Jeff Gordon sixth. Steve Park seventh. Mark Martin eighth. Christian Fedipaldi finishes in the top ten with a ninth place finish. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes in tenth. And then I finish in fourteenth. And you know what? For, for giggles... Last place was Elliot Sadler, who started 43rd, ended up 43rd. Wow, so Johnny Benson, Terry Labonte, and Elliot Sadler started the race where they, where they were and finished where they were. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Well, alright. Done with that now. Now we can move on to the more exciting part of these bonus races. The, um, the fantasy races. The fantasy tracks, however you want to call them. And looky here, next time we are headed to Daytona Beach, Florida. For the Daytona Beach 500. And yeah, this is the original racetrack that they did back in Daytona Beach. Back when, you know, Daytona International Speedway didn't exist. So, yeah. 
it's a very interesting track, so to speak. So, with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2004. So with that, I'll see you guys later.